there. That's good to know. Is that your line right there? I can't see it. I see it right here. That looks pretty close, I think. Hack it. Yeah. I used to do it all the way up. Yeah, split right here. We're splitting. Okay, so we are finally done with the masonry heater on the inside. Patrick went home and uh, now I actually have Randy the carpenter over here. And uh, we're trying to finish up the woodshed and get the roof on it at least. And then I can start milling the sides for it um, and then kind of just go from there. So today I'm going to show you uh, putting the roof on it. And I got some different material. I've used this uh, roofing uh, material before um, it's really good stuff i used it on chicken coop before and it's it's brown it matches the brown that's on the um, tiny cabin roof and um, so i didn't want to wait on the mail to come in i want to get this done and uh, randy had a free day to come over here today to help me do it so i was like i'm gonna get this stuff so let me show you what it is so it's like randy what would you say material this is it's almost like a, it's a like a rubberish sort of, yeah. yeah rubberish and, with uh, some kind of fiber maybe, mm -hmm. uh, maybe yeah a, fiber um, but it's got tar and i can smell the tar you can see the tar um, like I said, these this stuff will last like 20 years or more. Yeah, that's um, good stuff. It's pretty good stuff, Randy. Yeah, I would uh, think so. Yeah. So that's where it's really flexible, kind of like metal, um, but it's a lot easier to cut and um, work with, and it's and it's a little bit cheaper. So that's why I was going with Randy. We can get it. I got it last night, and it was a little bit cheaper too, so that's good. There you go. So we're going to... Um, I like it a little bit cheaper. Yes, me too. So I got it marked 10 inches. We're going to do a 10-inch yeah. overhang. Oh, I can see them. I can see them. You can see them? Mm -hmm. We're going to do a 10-inch 10 10 inch overhang and then work our way to the front. You ready, Randy? Yep, I'm ready. So we got the brown um, inch and a half at metal screws with the washer on it so it won't be leaking. Okay, so we knocked out the roof. You guys can see I didn't show a whole lot of that. It was literally just putting the roof on. Um, but Randy Carpenter left, and I went and picked up some material. We haven't talked about this a whole lot, but Brandy and the girls have been looking at new animals to get for the homestead, and they have found some. Um, so we think we're going to get some in the next few days. So I'm going to build a pen for them um, so we can have them, so we can bring them onto the homestead. They'll have a pen and a shelter, and then we're going to build uh, our two acre lot. Um, for all the animals um, probably here pretty soon but i want to show you guys um, what we're get what we got planned over there my brother's over here helping us we just went and picked up some fencing material to put this pin up this pin will act uh, not only as a pin for these animals right now um, but there will be like a quarantine pen or a birthing pen for in the future animals um, ever have babies and stuff like that so it'll be a dual purpose pin um, but it's going to serve a really good purpose right now so we can go ahead and get the animals um, brandy and the girls they miss all our animals that we had at the other homestead and um, to me it's not fair for me to say no we're just building the house we're only focused on the house we're not getting any animals uh, i'm not going to be working on any pens it's just not fair like we only have the girls for such a short amount of time as their children and um, i'm going to i'm going to capitalize on that and uh, i'm going to take a day off or two days off or three whatever i need from working on the house working on some pens 
um, for some new animals because that's what they want and um, I want to make them happy they want a house too they want the house to be done um, but you know what it's gonna be okay so all right let's go over here and I'll show you what we got going on so we've been working on the new pin um, and we are taking a little break I want to show you guys an awesome cool product that Soundcore sent me and if you got you guys probably know my brother but he loves listening to music so literally whenever we're filming I have to turn this off or I have to play music over the video because he's always playing music so we got this a few weeks ago and have been using it um, quite a bit here lately you bluetooth it right from your phone to the device it works awesome for the off-grid life because it's on a battery you don't have to have it plugged in um, this thing will be awesome for camping um, hiking whatever you want to do so let me turn it on and uh, play you a little bit of something on it <laughs> Just hit the old sound core right there and it will connect automatic to Bluetooth. I actually will like setting it up. I'm out here working by myself or whatever. I'll actually like playing my friends' videos um, where I'm not necessarily watching them, but I can listen to them. Hey folks, Lester here. How loud it gets. Like I said, this thing has been designed for the outdoor activities like camping, RV life, van life, outdoor parties. So it's super lightweight. You can see just this little convenient handle. It has the Motion Boom Plus on it. And you guys can uh, hear just how clear and crisp uh, the donkeys were sounding in the video. So listening to my buddy's uh, videos um, out here while I'm working lets me catch up on um, their activities, what they're doing. I may not get to sit there and watch every one of them just because how busy we are. Um, but with this Soundcore stereo, it makes it a lot easier for me to at least hear them. So another cool feature about this, um, this thing is waterproof. It will actually float. Um, I would think about throwing it in the pig pond, but if I did that, we probably wouldn't be using it anymore just because of the stench. Um, but yeah, this thing is waterproof. It will float. Um, so if you are kayaking or, or fishing or anything like that and it falls in the water, just reach down, grab the cool little handle, pick it back up, and you're good to go. That it has the, ba the base button right there. It has a um, Bluetooth button, the volume, and the power. Um, so all that being said, this thing is super convenient to um, use, super lightweight. You can see it's got a little, you could put a little strap on there. You can actually probably hang it up from the tree when you're outdoor camping. You can actually get up to 20 hours of music time on there or video time on there and actually has a out charger on there too so you can actually charge um, other devices um, when you're charging this so that's pretty cool let me show it to you real quick usb port right there the auxiliary cord and the input so that's where you're going to charge it then you can actually plug in um, your uh, usb port and plug in your phone iphone whatever you got my buddy kevin from hidden house wow. kids made a video to where they went over to his property. So he has a he has a cattle operation. So if you guys are interested in this at all, I will put a pinned comment down below and in the description box, I'll have a link you guys can click. You guys can go get one of these if that's what you're into. Maybe your kids like it like my girls, or maybe your brother like my brother likes, or even you, if you or if you like it, get you one. Um, I think you won't be disappointed. Let's get back into the build. Okay, so I got my brother Vince um, from Good Grub. Oh, wait, that's not your channel. <laughs> that's the old one. <laughs> from Our Rustic Life. You guys are not subscribed to him. Go check him out. Um, you took like a month or two off, yeah. uh, but now you're getting back into posting. Right back into it. Okay. That's kind of what Vincent does. He'll take a few months off, get re-energized, and then get right back into it. Um, but we're going to um, utilize the pig pen. So I'm actually butting it up to the pig pen for piggies. And we're going to use this to save on material. Um, and I already cleared it out. You can see all the roosters and, and Bobby, they're getting the, and Gracie and Gabby are getting all the bugs and stuff. Um, but we're going to put that way, that way, and then the rest 10 that way or so, something like that. So we'll see how this goes. And this will be plenty big area for the animals. I bet you're excited to see the animals when we get them, huh? Oh, man, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, I'm not telling them what it is yet. Um, they're in for a real treat. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Okay, since I got Vincent over here, we're going to see if we can't roll this trampoline out of the way. Um, it's a really it's huge trampoline. He helped us put together, and the storm demolished it. Um, maybe we can just move it over there for now. Looks like it's coming full circle. We put it together, and now it's taking. We'll it all crush it up, put it on your trailer. You take it home to Aiden. Oh yeah, <laughs> he'd love that. Yeah, there you go.
pretty convenient, huh? Yeah, that's a concrete bit, really not for wood. <laughs> It'll do the job. He made the hole too wide or big. No. Seems low, doesn't it? Yeah, it needs to be. Pull that support. Give me that wrench. Give me that wrench. I ain't judging. So, so your shoelaces are still untied? And so that now, so I step on my shoes. Mm. Yeah. You got ben, you got Benjamin foot disease. I wear a size twelve. Yeah, you bought me some size. 12. I ain't never bought you no size twelves, Aiden. Yeah, There's not a man in this family wears twelves. I'm gonna pull off those shoes right now. Aiden, I could put on a size pair of fifteens right now. Doesn't mean I wear fifteens. <laughs> Aiden, you do realize on some brands that they size different, right? Probably Canada. Canada. And also, Probably 12 in women's. We'll set that in there and see. Dang, you're a woman, Aiden? Yep, just like you, Tyler. Yeah, What's that end up, Tyler? Okay, so we got the pin done. My brother helped me. It took us about probably, I don't know, four or five hours over a two day span. Um, we just worked on it um, in the evening, a couple nights and got it all done, got the gates put up. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what animals we got, what the girls and Brandy got um, in the next video or two. I gotta work on a shelter today, um, but I wanna show you guys these pigs. Now these pigs, they're getting like little cuts on them. I don't know if I'm rubbed up against a tree or whatnot, just little scratches. And they are getting some massive horse flies on them. They're just sucking the blood out of them, I think. So I'm gonna spray some stuff that Brandy got, just see if it works. Um, it's, I mean, they can they can wallow around in the mud. That would probably help them a lot, but there's just some big horse flies um, on them. I'm gonna try to see if this will help them. So let's, let's give them a little squirt if they'll let me get in here. And we're just gonna use some stuff that Brandy got. It's supposed to be like all natural, I don't know. I'm gonna try to show them to you. You can see just how big these horse flies are. This one had like five or six on its back. See them? You can see them on there. <laughs> what? I'm trying to help you. I promise. I promise. Does it smell good? It smells like mint. I'm trying to help you. I'm going to go ahead and get you too. Uh, that has to feel good. Yeah, you're getting big. You're getting super big. <laughs> She's like, leave me alone. What? Don't go out there. Hey, I'm trying to get your source. That's probably good for now. So I'm going to spray this one. That doesn't hurt. Oh my gosh. You look like I'm beating you up. Oh, now you're going to get me. Now you're going to get me. Oh yeah, get you some of that. Get you some of that. Huh? You want some too? Get some. <laughs> All right, I'll leave you alone. I'm going to see if the horse flies come back. Got you one more time. What? I'm going to come back and check on you, see if they're staying off of you. Okay, let's go check on Pearl and Percy. They're sleeping right now, and uh, I'm going to give them a little squirt too. I don't think there's a whole lot on them. That one's just, I noticed the last couple of days, that's why Brandy got this was because the big horse flies, and I hate horse flies. I'm sure you guys do too. Oh, they hear me coming. They'll see if they'll let me squirt them. So Brandy taught Pearl a trick. Uh, if you guys didn't catch my little YouTube short I put on last night, she taught Pearl how to sit. How awesome is that? Hey Pearl, hey Percy. <laughs> Oh, you guys don't mind it near as much as the other ones. Did you do just inhale some dirt? My gosh. That ain't good. It's so dang dusty out here. They just inhale a big pile of dust and dirt. And uh, let's give them the wheezes. <coughs> will you sit for me? If I, if I uh, ask you to sit, will you sit? Sit. 
Don't sit on your thing. Oh, she sat. Look at her. Look, she sat. <laughs> she sat right on the dish. Let's get her over here. Come here, Pearl. Come here, Pearl. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Good girl, Pearl. He won't do it. We haven't taught him yet. Pearl is a master. You're a complete master at sitting, ain't you? Huh? Can you tell your friends hi on YouTube? They've been missing you wondering where you guys are at. Look at her. <laughs> okay, so we are getting projects done. Um, the house, we're going to start working back on the house. You guys, we've been, we worked on the house for measurement heater for almost a week straight, like six straight days, pretty much worked on it, got it uh, busted out. So I've been getting a lot of comments on it. Excuse the generator, I'm charging batteries. Um, but I got a comment saying, here we go, another project that's not done. You're not, it's not going through the roof. The chimney's not in place. And I literally talk about that in the video. So people are skipping around, not watching all of it, which that's normal. Um, but they always, people are quick to leave comments over things that I actually address in the video itself. So I actually hired a company that installed my, at my last house, they installed my wood stove. I've hired them, got them scheduled. Um, they're coming out at the end of the month and they're going to top it out and um, do all that. So it's going to be professionally done and we won't have to worry about any of that. So that's where we're at on that. And then once that's done, yes, project complete. Um, so another thing we're going to be working on, I got to, I have to get some uh, wood milled for um, the woodshed. I'll walk over, I'll show it to you guys, the woodshed. And uh, for the shelter I'm going to be working on today, I could get it looking pretty much like the woodshed, but I have to mill some wood um, for the side. That's what I want to do. So probably I need to start looking through what I got, getting things stockpiled, get the sawmill going um, so I can get this knocked out. But you can see Randy the carpenter came over and helped me put the roof on. And uh, now I just got to get, I'm just going to probably run two by six across and then run some um, slabs up and down all the way around like that. Um, something, something along those lines. Probably, so all I got to do now is run some boards across here, uh, back there and over there. I'm thinking about putting pallets down right here. But the bad thing about pallets, they may only last, you know, two or three years until you have to replace them, which is okay. Um, and if I, if I have enough wood, which I do got plenty, I gotta have to find it, um, to actually mill some probably inch and a half, two thick inch slabs to go across. That would be good too. Um, I'll have to put another support beam. I'll have to put a support beam, which I think I got one all the way across here that way. Cause this is eight foot. I'll need a, at least in the middle four foot. Cause that's going to be a lot of weight. So I may end up doing that. If I if I can just get enough wood milled, stack it down right there. So if I can get that done, if I can get all that milled, um, we will sit, be looking pretty, pretty good for this winter. Now, I actually got a uh, moisturizer wood tester to test the moisture in the wood because Pat from Tempcast said, you know, it needs to be 20% or less. And what's crazy about some of the wood I've already split like a month ago, checking with the meter, it's all been under 20%. And that's just so, it's so weird to me because um, a lot of times you need to have wood that is that has been down split and all that for a good six to six months to a year um so i don't know if this wood was already already dying or i split it i split it so little that it dried out quicker i don't know but we'll definitely be testing everything that we stack and um we probably we won't have enough i don't think we'll have enough seasoned wood here we might once i go around all these um, brush piles and start cutting it up because they've been some of this pile has been up for a year now um we'll see how green it still is or if it's dried out um, but if i don't have enough on my own property to mill or to um, split for this winter there's a guy down the road that sells seasoned wood and um, i'll buy enough to last me this winter and then next next year we'll have plenty um, but we'll start stacking and we'll probably end up separating these two um, from season like separating in the middle of season wood to green wood and that way we know to rotate and once you got your season wood, you don't have to check the moisture on every single piece um, the, the whole stock should be good I would think so okay so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video it was actually several videos in one uh, or several it was actually several days in one because we've been working um so yeah this project will be complete soon and then um, i'm going to show you guys the animals and the shelter and all that probably in the next video or two something like that and uh, then we're going to be jumping back into the house build i think this week i have in stored um, we're going to be working on um, the kids uh, bathroom um, getting it um, insulated and getting the rest of the sheetrock 
um, up and the cement board in the shower. So that's the, that's what I'm going to be working on this week because um, I've, I've said this before, we want to get moved in before winter. And that and some of you guys took that as I'll have the house complete um, before winter and that's just not feasible. We, financially, we can't do that. We don't have the funds to complete the whole house in the next two months. Um, you guys know we're doing this as we get paychecks. Um, so as far as that goes, getting moved in, have, have the girls' bedrooms done have a bathroom done and our in our master bathroom done and we can move in it's, it's good to go so um, that's what i mean by have it ready by winter because we already have our heat we'll have our heat and stored um and completely installed by the end of the month so we'll be able to burn um this morning was actually 53 degrees it felt amazing out here this morning um the house itself was uh, was cool but the bedroom um, because we got battery banks in there that were uh, running for electricity um it was actually warm it was probably like 70 something in there um it felt really good and uh, last night was the first night we didn't have to run the generator um, in a long time um, not only because we didn't need the air conditioner on because it was so cool, um, but I got the whole house system set up now. Um, I got some solar hooked up to it and I could charge it with the generator now. Um, so we're setting pretty good. We're going to be saving a lot of money on fuel um, because of that system. I'm so excited. And um, eventually, we'll be getting our whole house, whole system done. Um, yeah, that's later down the road. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for what animal we got. Um, that, will, that will be coming soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed If you just smash that like button, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you're interested in the Soundcore stereo, there will be links down below um, in the description box and a pinned comment. Catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Are you going to unbraid your hair? Okay. Come here. How do they braid that?